welcome to this week's episode of Success in Women. I'm Linda. I'm Andrea. And today, before we get to Andrea's tip, you're probably wondering why we're wearing these big heavy sweatshirts on a summer day. <laughs> Let us give you a little hint. Can you see? Today's episode is going down memory lane to back to school, matter of fact, not just any school, high school reunion. For a lot of people, that could be an interesting yes. time. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute. Andrew's got her tip for the, today. Well, even though it doesn't look like it, it is summer. <laughs> and we're probably buying ice cream here and there. And I always buy a diff bunch of different flavors. And, and you know what? I go to open it and sure enough, freezer burn. So I looked it up and I found a tip that when you buy the ice cream, take the lid off and you know how they have uh, a sort of a film. And then once you take that off, the freezer can burn it. So what they're saying is, uh, before you put it back in the freezer, take your saran wrap, lay it on top of the, the ice cream tub and put your lid back on. Throw it in the freezer and next time you won't have any freezer burn. We hope. We hope. I'm, well, and you know what? Some people say, what do you mean leftover ice cream? Oh. <laughs> I guess then, it depends on the size uh, of the container. In the tub and how often yeah. you eat it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So try it next time and see. So recently, Andrea and I decided to go back to our high school reunion. They're celebrating 70 years of the school's opening. Of the school's opening, yes. We yes. don't want you thinking that we're really ancient. We're old enough without being... You yes, know, exactly. Yeah, 70 years um, in since high school. Uh, but it was actually quite a, an interesting trip back down memory lane, walking through the hallways. And what was interesting is, while we're going to be showing you some film clips of our school and, um, you know, just kind of, I'll say right now, giving you a little bit of that background. But one of the things that Andrew and I discovered was actually our high school doesn't have enough high school students anymore no and they've turned part of our school into a grade school in the high school and the way our high school was we had three main hallways that went down and then two that went across and now all of a sudden they took one whole hallway and they've made it into a grade school when you're going back down memory lane it's kind of interesting mm -hmm. To see now that there would be younger people in there because you can tell by, I'll say, the drawings and the right. different classrooms that they have that were not for the, I'll say, older kids. And that tells you something about, say, 50 years ago when families were large. That's true. We had, I mean, really, you're seven, I'm six. We had families of 11, 13, 8. There were lots of kids to fill these schools. Yeah. We had our own public school. There was a couple of Catholic uh, elementary schools. We had our high school and they were always full. And, but now with the way it's going, the new generation, they, if they're lucky, they have two, yeah. two children. So now, and a lot of us moved away, uh, our generation moved away and not having families there. So yeah, the, they, they don't need all that uh, space now for, for teenagers because there might be two per family. That's true. So we ended up going on the Friday night. We didn't actually go on the Saturday. And while we were there, it was interesting because just before we went up to Sudbury for the school reunion, I had found out that one of my classmates from... 4B9E, which is infamous for us that were in attendance um, during that year. I don't know if we should even say what year we started, but anyway, the thing well, is... Well, it's in the picture, so... Yeah, well, we did get a picture, and that was the year we started, 1968. 1968. <laughs> and one of my classmates actually had passed away, and during that same time period, uh, but just a, a few weeks before, another friend same age, 
lived on our street, our street. and um, she had passed away as well. And it's one of those things where we were glad that we got to go back yes. and at least reconnect with some of the people that we had gone to school with. And they are talking about another school reunion in five years. The 75th. The 75th for the school. So that'll be really interesting. And actually yes. to see who's left. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but we had entertainment because we went to the variety night on our way back home to Toronto, we stopped in at my brother's and my brother actually, who didn't go to the school, he went to the school, but he didn't go to the reunion, mm. said he plans to go in five years, but maybe help actually with the variety night so that they have even more entertainment. But we actually got to hear some of the people that we had gone to school with still like really active in singing and in, in music and yeah. music. And, and they were good. Yes. Still Very strong good. voices. Oh, yes. And they sang songs from our era. From our which era, was which was really. So, and you know, that's the thing, Linda. A lot of people, when they hear that the reunions come, oh, I'm not going. I can't be bothered. You know what? It's important to do that. You, first of all, go to your hometown. And some of us still have family there, which Linda and I both do. So you can, it's an excuse to go visit them. And then you, like like she said, reconnect with uh, friends that you haven't seen in a long time. And, it's pretty and cool, wasn't it? It too? was, and to catch yeah. up and see where their children are. And then we talk about old times. And you laugh and you have so much fun. And that's what you need in life, you know, to to um, enjoy your days and, and, and laugh and... and, and Think what about I, all the good times you had. Yeah, and I was going to say, one of the things, Andrea, that I kind of noticed that while you're going through high school, sometimes it doesn't feel like you were having a great time. I know. <laughs> but when you look back yes. and you start talking about some of these moments, moments <laughs> it's like, you know what? It was a good time. We did have fun. And I think sometimes we don't always appreciate as we're going through life those moments but when we look back it's yeah, like know. yeah if if i could go back in time maybe there's things that you would change but now it's it's something to appreciate and and i and the other thing was we were upstairs in the library and uh, and it's funny because one of our one of our friends said i don't think i ever came to the library <laughs> we were <laughs> killing ourselves laughing but upstairs they had blown up uh yearbooks from every year so we were searching around, looking for our pictures, and then we seen uh, other friends, which was really cool. But what I noticed too was the change in the subjects. We had shop, you know, I, I think there's still a shop there. Isn't yes, there? there was. There I, was I, a shop. I, I did go yeah. by and look in the window and yeah. saw that there was. And yeah. we had uh, typing class, home ec class, and I don't think any of that is available anymore, is it? I. I don't I really think so. Couldn't tell and, you. Uh, and seeing the the pictures of, uh, and I remember all of us sitting in front of the typewriters. And then, of course, we had the old fashioned. And then, uh, maybe two years after we started, or three, they came with the electric, mm -hmm. the, the the electric uh, typewriter. typewriter. And you know, it, it was. Uh, anyway, it was just fun to see all that. And, and I remember when we were walking down the hallway, I was showing you. Uh, they have a display. Um, window just like a storefront window and I was telling you because we took marketing and we would always do the Christmas scene for you know that window display okay. and now it was you can tell it wasn't used that way anymore uh, so who even knows if they're doing that type of marketing because yeah. you know when you think about I don't it think so marketing yeah. is more social media now exactly. you know what, what do you put out on social media well, it's pretty hard to put a store window you know <laughs> with social media stuff but right. that was a lot of the changes as well yes. but i really enjoyed the fact that we we didn't i didn't see a lot of the people i went to school with like i did the reunions in Before, the past yes but the ones that I did was really nice to catch up with and right. just reconnect because it's been years yeah. since I've been able to talk to those. And matter of fact, it's only when I go to the school reunion that you see them. that I see them and exactly. get to catch up. I'll say yes on how many years it's been right. and then what's been happening. And I think the next one, the seventy fifth, is going to be more because they're planning more um, events. 
Yes. And they're going to, they've already started advertising for us because we were supposed to have one during COVID. It didn't happen. And I think a lot of people just got um, side uh, tracked with other things. So they didn't have as many people on the volunteer list, but already people are signing up and and getting ready for the 75th. So we're really looking forward to that. And God willing, we're going to be there. That's right. That's (laughs) right. I'm already telling people now to hopefully the, those that didn't go to make sure that they're going to be going for the 75th because I think that's going to be an exciting. Do you I remember the 50th uh, anniversary? Oh, that was amazing. That was so great. Yeah. And it was so large for and the well, 50th of the yeah. school. Well um, organized. Yes. And they had two or three different locations. They did. And they had music in every location of a different era. That's right. You know, they had the 60s music and the 80s music and then the, I, what was 50 years? No, how many years? 20 Whatever years ago. Fit, yeah. yeah the, the modern music. So they had something for everybody. So you kind of knew where your age group would, would be, be hanging out. You could go to any one of the locations, mm-hmm. but if you wanted to go where your group of colleagues, uh, friends are, uh, uh, you know, mates. schoolmates would have been, you would know which uh, venue to go exactly, to. Exactly. Yeah. And it was really, oh, that it one was, to me was one of the best. Really fun. Yes, yeah. it was. So I'm hoping the 75th is going to be as good and that a lot more people attend. Yeah. So when you watch the video, you're actually going to see Andrew and I brought you down our street where we grew up, where we went swimming in the summertime, because it was kind of nice to go back on that street. Yes. And so you, we've got little clips of, you know, different stuff from our little road trip. Um, it was only a very quick, what, two or three days, yeah. but it was a lot of fun. And, right. uh, and then I got to, my two of my sisters still live there, so I got to stay with them. And, and we actually... Linda came over for a barbecue barbecue on the Saturday, which was nice. And then we got to see her brother and then another very close uh, uh, friend of ours that lived on our street also. And she was in my grade nine class, 4B9E. (laughs) That's a very famous one. And if you ask any of us that were in 4B9E, we all know and remember that one. (laughs) Wow. It's such a... I was in the five-year business, so I I wasn't... I don't even remember She's smarter than I am. (laughs) She's smarter than I am. But it's because when we were going back for all these reunions, there were always a big collection of us that would go from 4B9E. And I can't tell you about all the others. But one of the things that I can tell you is that 4B9E was the original class. And then I lost somebody all the way until grade 12. And so I graduated almost by myself because I lost- Everybody dropped out? No, a lot of them failed throughout the year. And yeah, so I was, back in the day where you could fail. Yes, yes, they had actually allowed people to fail, and yeah. luckily I passed. So I was smart enough to get through uh, my four years without having to repeat a grade. But she was the smarter one because they automatically put her in a five-year program. I was automatically put into a four-year because I didn't work as hard as she did, or maybe she just really got good memory. But anyway, we've taken you on this journey. Yes. We hope you enjoy it. And we just tell you that if you have the opportunities to go back in time, that's your roots. Yeah. That is going to tell you a little yeah. bit about where you are today and why you are today, the person you are. Yeah. So it's um it's been fun. It was fun. We really enjoyed it, and uh, I I like I said we got to see friends, family, reminisce. Even and, stopped uh, along the highway where yes. she got chips. It's not quite what they call a chip wagon anymore, but it is a homemade French fries. Yes, that, and I got that's a, one thing about up north. Yes. You get the homemade fries and then a thing called poutine. Yes. And it's got the homemade gravy and the cheese curd. You can get it in the city, whatnot, but it's not the same. It's not the original. They're amazing. And if you want to find out what is Zelda, where we both grew up on, on our street, but if you want to know what Zilda is famous for, you have to see the end of the video because you will find out <laughs> what it is. And we're not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to watch to find out. Yes, exactly. So until next time, ladies, we hope you enjoy the episode. I'm Linda. I'm Andrea. We hope you like, share, and subscribe because we can't do it without you. Yes. <laughs>
for our school reunion. High now, school reunion. High school reunion, <laughs> that's right. And what's a road trip without stopping at a Tim Hortons? <laughs> this is the Ontario way. Might be the Canadian way, but definitely in Ontario. Oh, yes, definitely. Got to have your Timmies. So we're going inside, taking our little break. And now we have the Muskoka chairs. If we decide we're going to stay a little longer with any <laughs> treats from Tim Hortons. Anyway, we'll be talking, checking in later. Now we're approaching my house where I grew up and the whole street is so different. But where you see the Canadian flag, it's Canada Day uh, when I'm filming this, this actually is the homestead that I had. My father actually built the house and when my mother sold it after my father passed away, the new owners who have been there for absolutely ever have maintained and improved the property that even my father would be impressed with. And behind that Canadian flag fence is the pool. But if you kind of look on this side of the street, you're going to see that the lake is right there. Right there. Right in between. We didn't have far to go. Not at <laughs> all. And we spent all day, every day, barefoot and in the water. <laughs> yeah, and if you look ahead, this used to be around the curve up there, a dead end that we actually called the bay and we went swimming. There were no houses past my house. No. And now all of a sudden we have a ton. So we're gonna take you around the curve and then actually we're gonna shut it off and start again when we go back to Andrea's house, which is down on the other end of the street. So I just Do the loop. Do the loop. We're doing the loop. <laughs> if it's a little rocky, it's because the roads are not the uh, <laughs> most paved over yeah. here. They um, have. They haven't improved that. <laughs> no, not at all. But you see, Andrea, actually, the pathway yes. up where it, that number is, five yeah. twenty-five. We used to walk through there to get to the bush to actually get to the rocks to get. Beautiful, isn't it? Peaceful, calming. Well, believe it or not, on our girls' road trip, this is where Andrea and I spent our summers. A hop, skip, and a jump away, before school, after school, all summer long, we were at the lake. And if you kind of look around the curve, that bridge, we used to go swimming right off that bridge in that area. This piece of beauty was our childhood. Was our childhood. People we, pay millions for cottages. We grew up on a on a cottage lake, Whitewater Lake. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it was a great childhood. It was. Coming around here. So we're taking you on our road trip and you're gonna see where we actually grew up. We'll be back. Here we go. We're crossing the bridge. Yes, and this is where we spent all summer long diving up the bridge. Huh? And here we spent with our all our neighborhood friends jumping off this bridge. And the plane that used to be parked right in someone's yes. backyard. Yes, Mr. Connor. And here we go. We are now officially on Albert Street where Linda and I grew up with many many other families it's a very long street filled with lots of kids and families and dead ends <laughs> of Albert Street and my house is up here on the right unfortunately it's uh, been sold and they completely changed it and it's all renovated but this is where I grew up we actually uh, I think we moved in here when I was like five 
and still our neighbors are here, the Staddens, and here we are. That was our house here, and they're having some issues with the new renovation, unfortunately. Now, but a beautiful this, yard. Now, wasn't this where my ex-husband lived? He lived right there. Right. Well, show them. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around. So Linda's ex-husband lived right lived there, right across the street from me. Here's a picture here. Yes, he grew up there. We had a lot of fun together, and there's still some of our my neighbors still here. And, uh, and you can see up ahead, houses. it's coming to an end. It's not that big of a street, and, but there's yeah. a lot of houses on it yes. now. And one of these families, this family had 13 children. One down at the other end had 11. We had seven, eight, six. There were a few small families of four, but... And then see, this is a dead end, and you're right on the creek, creek that goes, that into, goes the into the lake. So we used to, in the winter time, come here and skate and we take a shortcut to walk across yeah so now we're doing a little yui and that's and that's part street. of our road trip to Sudbury Azilda Chelmsford, Chelmsford. <laughs> reminiscing yeah. so nostalgic it's wonderful <laughs> can you see it Tim Hortons is right behind us and it's the first thing you see when you come to Azilda. Amazing. It really is because this town doesn't have a whole lot. It yeah. had even less, I think, before. But right. Um, but you know what? Timmy's makes it anywhere. Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's always and there's people in the drive uh, drive through. But we're not going to be there. We're actually going to go inside. But. We had to show it to you because this is the beginning of our down memory lane. After spending an afternoon with Andrea's uh, sisters, having a nice traditional Canadian Ontario, Northern Ontario outdoor barbecue. barbecue. It, it was good. It was very good. So oh, we're sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say. So we had to share that with you because yeah, we forgot to actually film because we were enjoying ourselves so much. Yeah, exactly. So then we said, "Well, let's go down to." the home street and really go down, go down memory, memory lane. lane yeah and that's what we did, we're going to do you know we're, we're going to bring you on that journey but for us it's a new journey as well because we haven't been here in many many years and exactly. it's something to see right it is it brings yeah. back a lot of nice memories yeah and it's part of going back to the school reunion yes yes so if you have a chance to do it yourself yep. in your lifetime a reunion and down memory lane i advise you to do it We'll see you soon. Okay, so the road trip is almost over, but what's a road trip and coming back home without stopping at your local grocery store and buying the local potatoes? And as you can see, it's the pride of Zelda. Yay! And I never even knew about this, but Andrea has, and she's gonna be loading it up into the trunk. We've got five bags to bring back home. Some are souvenirs, but two of them are for eating. They are by far, and I've cooked a lot of potatoes in my lifetime, the best potatoes that I've cooked in a long time. So I make sure every time my sisters come up or if I'm in this area to pick up a couple of bags because I really, really love them and I don't like to cook without them. And so so here the they are. Potato. I'm so excited actually because I've actually bought some for my my uh, business partner and uh, my assistant on my other job. And um, I think they're going to be in for a treat. So this and is they're, exciting. They're locally grown by a family we grew up with, the Poulets. That's right, yeah. the Poulets. Anyway, so we will check back in when we're on the road for home. We have one more friend we're going to stop in and visit with. So see you later. As part of our road trip, we had to make a stop at the lunchbox uh, along the highway. And we still have a long way to go to get home. But I had to have a Coarthas ice cream. This one's salted caramel truffle. It's so delicious. And Andrea is inside, um, still waiting to get some homemade fries. And these will be great local fries that are not frozen fries. This is all the good stuff. They have everything. This gas is a lot cheaper at this stop. They have, and if I'm gonna show you this, they've also got 
a cannabis store so I could I could get my CBD oil. Anyway, I'm all set now. Mm. Here's one more lick. I'll show you, Andrew, once you get through fried so you can see how delicious that is. And we'll be seeing you soon. But we'll be in Toronto next time. Other than uh, that next stop with Andrea, there's no more stops. See you later. So here we are. Andrea got her fries and look at how amazing they look. Mm-hmm. Wow. Nice fresh cut. Wow. Delicious. You can only find those in the up north. Yeah, and it's probably the really good potatoes that we bought on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> because um, they actually look really good. And when I finish my ice cream cone, I'm going to actually can't take a couple. And I always liked all that ketchup on that is the best part of mm -hmm. having these great fries. Anyway, we'll be saying goodbye when Andrea, I have to drop her off mm. close to Toronto. Until so next sad. Time. Yeah, but we'll be back again soon. Yeah. Bye, ladies. Bye. So I'm dropping Andrea off for the evening. We're going to meet up again tomorrow morning. But you see how little she's got left of her Timmy's? It hasn't been that long, but she's been drinking that and enjoying <laughs> that nice cold iced coffee. Yes. But anyway, Very good. we'll be back together on the road. We're going to stop in and see a friend before we yeah, leave. Head out. Yeah, yeah. head out. And um, anyway, Andrew, say goodbye for now. Bye. So I drop Andrea off and it registers with me, delayed reaction, that this is where I used to live when I was married with my husband. And it was, I'm gonna focus in on that window, right off the entrance. That's where we lived for the first three years of our marriage. But talk about, you know. Coming full circle. Yeah, and. and my sister lived in the apartment above And now. yes, where the windows are open, that's where Andrea's sister lives. And it's pretty funny actually that by coincidence, yeah bringing me here after all those years ago <laughs> wow this really was a trip of uh, nostalgia it sure was yeah well i've arrived in my new dwelling for the next three nights and of course i've already taken a little relaxation break before i actually go out but it's a nice uh, hotel it's quite new it's a, a wyndham hotel called microtel and uh yeah i think it's going to be quite comfortable for the next few days anyway just want to see and um, you to see and uh, let you know this is where i am okay believe it or not we've arrived in sudbury safe and sound yay and even the skies are nice. beautiful beautiful what a welcome yes let so, the games begin that's right <laughs> so andrea is going to be off with her sister and i am going to work and then we'll be meeting up again tomorrow night for a variety night. So stay tuned. Well, here we are in front of Kelsey's restaurant. If you can see that somewhere, yeah, right it's Kelsey's in Sudbury. And Andrea's there at the back with her two sisters. And, and my we're sisters. Yeah. <laughs> and we're off to the school reunion. We're going to go to variety night tonight. So we're looking forward to that. But we wanted to let you know that's where we had dinner, Kelsey's. And just for your FYI, there's another restaurant Our where the pet peeve. yeah, my pet peeve when waitresses and waiters don't say thank you for the gratuity. Well, they thank me for mine. But they obviously maybe I didn't, you didn't give enough. I was gonna <laughs> say maybe twenty percent plus is not enough anymore. Not enough to get a thank you. Yeah. But I also want to show you because in Sudbury, if you've never been here, it's quite beautiful. We have a lot of rocks and things, and I'm just going to turn this around so you can see how wonderful this looks in Sudbury. And way off in the distance is the hotel I'm staying at. Very, very close. So we're off. We're going to reconnect again at the school reunion. You'll see us shortly. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, we're outside of our old high school. Yay! Yes, yeah, CVDCS, and believe it or not, it's 70 years for the school. Not for us. Just and want you to know. And they're coming to get us already, Linda. Oh we didn't my do God. anything. What is going on? Wow. <laughs> Just Sorry about more. that. <laughs> we're outside, but we needed to show you. The that old we are, school. We're here. Yeah. We're enjoying ourselves so far. 
The variety night's pretty good, actually. Yeah. You know, considering it's old timers up on old stage. Old timers, yeah, it's... they're very good. They sound great. Yeah, really good. We'll be back. So, went to the school reunion last night, had the variety night, and today I got to meet up with two of my old classmates from 4B9E. We're in Chelmsford. That was so much fun. Right now and we're in Sudbury. We're in Sudbury right now and we just had lunch at, if you can see it, Eastside Mario's. And again, where the staff never say thank you after you leave a tip. <laughs> You know, it's my pet peeve. I tell you all the time. But anyway, wanted to tell you this is part of our road trip for our school reunion. Until next time, say bye. Bye.